Uh, oh, and I have fists. Wow. That is like the laziest punch ever. He's not even thrusting his punch forward. He's just kind of going meh and like twisting his hand. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and join me today for a Bungie classic. Of course, we are not talking about Halo, silly viewers. Bungie's known for more than just Halo. We're talking about the original shooter, Marathon. In fact, this actually isn't the original shooter. This is Marathon Infinity, making it the third entry in the Marathon series. Uh, so it's uh, the original series of shooters that Bungie made, but not necessarily the original game. Alright, so here it is! Marathon. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna hop right in here. Bungie has always been known for their storytelling capacity, and in Marathon it was no exception. Although I think this predated cutscenes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the prologue was basically just a title. Um, oh, the mouse is very sensitive. Okay, hold on, we have to adjust this. Yes, we'll quit quit our game. One complaint that I have about this game is there's no way to change things once you are playing. You essentially have to quit the game to the main menu. Kind of annoying, actually. But whatever. We uh, quit the game at a good time. We had literally just started, so we can hop right back in where we left off. Okay, this is a bit better. Um, what is that out there? A spaceship? Huh. Some kind of spaceship. I hear a door opening and closing repeatedly. That can't be good. Press this and this. Ooh, we have an exit. What is over here, though? There's, like, bullets. What kind of gun do I have? Like a pistol. Uh, oh, and I have fists. Wow. That is, like, the laziest punch ever. He's not even thrusting his punch forward, he's just kind of going meh, and like twisting his hand. That's like more of a, a noogie, or something. So he's got like a, a metallic noogie. wonder how much damage it does. Enough to kill a man with a metallic noogie. Okay, what, wait, what is over here? I'm just kind of walking around. I already don't really know where I am anymore. One thing that's difficult about these first person shooters like Doom is keeping track of where you are. Oh, jeez. Those are bad guys. Or, well, I mean, maybe they're good guys, but in games like this, you don't ask that, those kinds of questions. You just literally shoot anything that isn't you. Well, I definitely killed something. Faded away there. Whoa! Whatever the hell you are! Whoa, he's like... He, he gets staticky when I hit him. Okay, let's try punching him. Does this do anything? Killed you, I guess. Interesting. Having trouble detecting whether I'm damaging enemies or not, but hey, whatever. Let's pick up some ammo. This game really reminds me of Doom, but actually, if you look at it, the graphics look really, really good. So here's the thing about Marathon. Marathon was originally for Max, and I believe it had pretty reasonable graphics at the time. I don't think they were this good. So you may be saying, what's going on then? First of all, how are you playing this on PC if this was a Mac game? And... Why do the graphics look so good? Well, here's an interesting little bit of trivia for uh, Marathon here. Bungie, at some point, decided to make Marathon completely free and open source. And so they not only released the game, but they released all the source code for the game as well. Which I think is just actually really terrific. Um, I wish more companies did that. Uh, because, you know, like at a certain point... When you're not really making much money off a game anymore, why why bother sitting on the code and just like, hey, 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 what? Whoa, 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 whoa! What's what's going on there? What was that? I was getting like electrocuted by something. I didn't even see a thing. What was electrocuting me? Was it this? Hmm. I love it when you get attacked by... Oh, there they are. Holy crap, look at them all. They're like alien bug guys with sticks. Kill them all, let God sort them out. That's my philosophy. Jesus. 
I do like how you have a bit of a radar. Obviously, um, a lot of the elements that would later appear in Halo started here in Marathon, so in Doom you didn't have a radar like this. You could turn on an overhead map, but it wouldn't like show you where enemies were and stuff. Obviously, this is the birthplace of the Halo radar. Uh, we got a little elevator coming down here. But anyway, yeah, Bungie, terrific company. I really like them, and I really love the fact that they made their game... Is this... Is something ever going to come down here, or is this just a graphic? What's happening there? It looked like an elevator coming down, but I'm not so sure now. Uh, terrific company, and I love the fact that they made this game open source. And as a result, I am able to play this game on a PC. I could play it on Linux as well, actually. Uh, but being an open source game now, people have gone and improved the game, uh, enhanced the graphics, made it more compatible with more systems. You know, just... I. I I personally believe that that is, can't do anything but help your brand. So one thing that, oh, look at this guy. Oh, okay, see ya. This level is actually very confusing. I really do not know if I'm gonna pass the first level here. So we're just gonna kinda have some fun with Marathon. We don't have any expectations that Jay's actually gonna make it anywhere. I mean, Doom had non-linear levels to a degree, but they were linear enough that I could at least figure out how to end a level. On this, I don't have that much of a clue. So my strategy is to go places where I don't think I've been before and just try and end the level that way. Eventually I should find an ending, right? Oh man, look at that drop. This is where I die, I tell ya. Okay, can we see anything down there? Oh god. Oh, fall damage doesn't hurt you. Oh, but that guy does. Oh! Okay, either I got squished or that was super delayed fall damage. How do how do how do I respawn? Okay, there it goes. Aw oh, man, I'm back at the beginning. Damn it. Wait. Something opened up over here when I did this. Hey. Hey, let me in there. Okay, I guess I can't go in there. Well, we have to go through the whole level again. That's okay, it gives me more time to chat about Bungie. As I say, this game was originally on Mac. Bungie was originally a Mac developer, which is kind of interesting, you know, considering they got bought up by Microsoft, which are the creators of Windows and are heavily, you know, PC involved. In fact, Halo was actually originally supposed to be a PC, or not a PC, a Mac game. And it was in, unveiled by another, none other than Steve Jobs at a Mac World Expo, which is pretty crazy. It's funny, like, because Halo ended up being about as non-Mac as you could get by the time it was all developed. But when it was originally developed, it was supposed to be um, a Mac game, which is kind of interesting. It's also supposed to be a real-time strategy game, actually. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's talk about Marathon, actually. So as I say, Marathon, you can spot a lot of the sort of uh, Halo-esque things in Marathon here. We got the radar... Uh, I think you can dual wield, dual wield weapons, which was a big part of Halo 2. Um, I think there's a, a lot of the plot in this game, if I'm not mistaken, is very reminiscent and almost connected to Halo in a weird way. You got, there's AI terminals and stuff. The level editor for this thing is called The Forge, which if you play Halo and you've used the level editor, that is the exact same name that they use. Uh, I think, obviously, you know, uh, this game has nods to Halo, or rather Halo has nods to it because Halo came out afterwards, but I'm pretty sure Destiny also has connections to Marathon. Bungie is very... Bungie likes to connect their games in sort of very meta levels, or very sort of subtle levels or whatever. I don't know how to how to phrase it, but you know what I mean. They, they basically like to have um, internal continuity within their company. Not necess it's not necessarily true that these games all take place in the same universe. In fact, I'm pretty sure they don't. But Bungie likes to sort of connect their products in interesting ways. Okay, is this going to open? I can go in here. Yes. Oh, and then what I want to do is bum rush this guy. Sir, if you could die, that would be a huge help to me. And then press that, which does nothing. There was no reason to do any of that. And then I will go over here. Ah, uh, crap. Um, how do I do this? I really wish you could jump in this game. I hate games that don't allow you to jump. 
It's like your character never figured out that if he pushes both legs off the ground at the same time, he will leap into the air. It's okay to jump, man. You can do it. <laughs> As I say, I'm not too familiar with the story of Marathon, and I tried to look it up a little before I made this video, but here's, you know, anyone who's a fan of Bungie will know that they have notoriously complex stories. I'm a huge Halo fan. To this day, I can't succinctly explain the story of Halo. I know the broad strokes, but the details, you know, I know I'm missing stuff whenever I try to summarize the story. Same thing with, oh, I'm actually really low on hand. I'm dead again. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, one, one more shot. Hey, good news. It seems to have saved my progress right around the part where I died. I don't have very much health, but I'm at least, in terms of the level, near where I am. Hey, look, the, the, the reticle or whatever on my gun is semi-transparent. You can sort of see, as I look at different things, it's semi-see-through. That's always cool. One thing I've really liked about uh, a lot of Bungie games is that the, the weapons themselves, they're actually sort of animated in interesting ways, or they have interesting properties that interact with the environment. In games like Doom, obviously, the weapons, you know, did not interact with the environment at all, except when you shot, you killed things, but... Okay. Let's go kill these bad guys, show them what Jay is made of. Oh god, and I might be dead already. Not dead. Oh god. That guy shoots like homing missiles. No, 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 no! Just die already! Holy crap, wait. Oh, I thought there was another one coming. I guess he doesn't shoot homing missiles, he shoots like homing green balls of energy. I don't know how you get that power, but I kind of want it. Okay. Where are we even? We're in like some kind of futuristic weirdo factory that's not producing a single thing. They were like, let's build a space station with lots of floors and walls that move around in like seemingly useless ways. Because that'll be really useful for no one, ever. Okay. Uh, we seem to be trapped. So the only place I can go is over here. I'm going to give it a try. We'll see how it goes. These things are confusing me. Those, like, belts that are moving around. Okay. All right. So we can't jump, but we can kind of run. And we kind of hover for a while after we finish running. We're kind of like Wily e. Coyote. Once we go off a cliff... We have a bit of time. Like this. Like, okay. Ah! Damn it. I'm not jumping or anything. I'm just literally running straight off. It's, I feel like it's like Looney Tunes. Like, we need the Scooby-Doo sound effect uh, where they're, like, getting ready to run when I'm, like, over a cliff. Okay. I can totally make that. My guy has some kind of weird ability to kind of run through the air. Like a genie. Boom. Very pleasant sound effects when you pick up ammo. Um, being a Mac game, this game always felt... So this came out... Well, I got not this one. This is the third game. But the first marathon came out a year after Doom, I think. And it always felt to me like the Mac version of Doom. It was sort of the cleaner, more polished, but less bloody kind of version of Doom. I mean, Mac products are like that. They're kind of like cleaned up versions of a lot of things. Is this going to kill me somehow? Um, nope. Swim, swim. Oh, God. Okay, I'm swimming with very little life, and there's a monster chasing me. This is where you just gun it and hope for the best. Because, oh, there he is again. I do not have the strength to fight you, sir. What are you even? You're like... Shoot, and this is where I came in. Okay. We're going down. Down into the water. Killing him would reduce a lot of pressure at this part, but I can't risk it. What are these barrels down here? This is very odd. I'm getting kind of like an alien-esque feel. Ah! <laughs> and now I'm just a smear in the, bottle of, the bottom of a pond. A disgusting green pond of slime. But I'm getting a very, like, Alien 3, like, Ripley-esque kind of feel to this space station. Also, a little bit of XCOM. The aliens could pass for, like, XCOM dudes. Okay, where are we? Ah! 
Are these save points? Is that what this is? This looks like Hal. Hal, give me some health. I can't do that, Michael. Hmm. Hmm. Something's blinking. I don't know what, don't know what that is, though. All right, we got a fist and a handgun. Neither of these are pretty going to be very effective against this dude. Is there nothing else I can do? This sucks. How do you get health in this game? <laughs> There's a question. Anyone who knows how to play Marathon, how the hell do I get health? Oh my god. I ask and ye shall receive. Huh, I like this game a lot better now. I... That is like the most convenient thing ever to happen. And now we can, oh, and you can't shoot your gun underwater? Okay, we're in a lot of trouble. Gotta get to land. Oh, and he's right there. Is he still in front of me? It sounds like he's taking damage. I can't see him. Okay. Um, I think we owned him. And not only that, we're at full health. Damn. We went from sucking at this game to being a boss. Now, let's explore the creepy depths down here. Find whatever the hell it is we need to find to get out of the creepy depths. Uh, is, no, that's where we came from. Okay, there's a way out over here somewhere. There's something. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we go through here. And, oh, there's another one. Oh, so there were two. This must have been the one that got me last time. Okay. Don't you dare shoot me. I'm looking around, not bothering anyone. Oh, there's a th another one. They can't really hurt me underwater. I don't think their bullets go underwater either. Okay. So now I'm guessing it's somewhere down here. My guy is really good at holding his breath. He's also very calm in a tense situation. I would not be this calm. All right, walk through here. Oh, I guess I have an oxygen tank, right? It's that blue thing that's going down. Hello, do you know how to get out of here? Oh, you had a friend. What were you guys doing in that dark corner together? I actually, you know what? I don't want to know. I do not want to know. Okay, let's try swimming our way out. Uh, huh. Definitely one of those where the hell do you go games. Don't you shoot me. Stand in front of me and take a repeated barrage of bullets. That's how you defend whatever it is you think you're defending. Oh, God. Should not have reloaded right there. Okay. Uh, blink. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, the controls are kind of slippery actually. It's hard to describe, but I feel like I keep slipping away from things. A lot of interactivity in the environment though. Gotta press a lot of switches to get where I'm going. And I'm still not clear. This is the prologue. This isn't even the game by the way. I haven't, I haven't earned the right to play the game yet. This is basically like the introductory level main title screen uh, huh. oh hello things have gone terribly awry until now I thought myself immortal but now I know it is not true I mean I could have told you that malfunction lots of story Boop. if you played Halo 3 there are de totally terminals in the game that will tell you story I believe they they got the inspiration or the idea from Marathon so you can see right there whoa how do I go in there? I wish I knew how to duck and jump and all the fun stuff. I don't know how to do any of that. Hopefully it's not essential to beating this level. Hey! I came from here. Can, can you heal me? No. I need that, like, healing terminal. Okay. Well, we got... I hate when these games splinter off and there's like a billion ways to go. Because the, the completionist in me wants to explore every single part. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I hear monsters this way, so it's a pretty good bet that this is the way we need to go. Oh, so we can't go that way. And uh, we've already tried that way. 
Let's try the opposite. If it if at first you don't succeed, do the opposite. And that doesn't work either. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, what? Whoa, where'd you come from, dude? I was just down that hall. So awkward that we passed each other. Oh my god, I'm dead again. Wow. You know what? I really thought that I would be just a little bit better at this game. But it turns out I'm not. Maybe I should have had Mac as a kid. Yeah. Anyway, what else can we say about uh, Marathon here? So one thing I was thinking of is the fact that Marathon got released as essentially free and open source, and the source code is out there. Um, id Software is also really great for this. They've released Doom and Quake and all their games as free, uh, freeware. Again, I really love when companies do that. I, and I started to think, what games exist out there that you wish a company would just give up and finally release as freeware? And, like, can you guys think of a game that's essentially abandoned where that you wish a company would release? Um, I mean, I guess any almost any game that qualifies as abandoned where, I would almost say those games should just be formally free. So if you don't know, abandoned where is basically a game that is no longer supported by its developer. Basically means, like, you know, if... I don't know, the company, if Nintendo went out of business tomorrow, or they just totally abandoned Super Mario, then there'd be no formal source through which to get Super Mario anymore, and it would essentially be abandonware, especially if no one was enforcing any of the copyright uh, issues around Mario or anything anymore. And my thing with abandonware has always been, like, when something really is abandoned, it should just formally become free. Like, what is the benefit to society of keeping these video games under lock and key just because, you know, the, the company technically legally owns it, even though the company doesn't care about it anymore. I mean, it seems like it services society better to have a lot of these games just become free. And this is where, like, um, le like let's say you want to play a really, really old game, and the only way to get a hold of it is by buying a used copy or downloading it. Like, it's a really hard game to come by. Is it morally wrong? This is a question for you guys. Because I, I don't have the de definitive answer. But what do you guys think? Is it morally wrong? Hey, we found some some place we haven't been before. Is it morally wrong for you to download the game rather than buy the legitimate copy? Because here's my thinking on the subject. If the people who develop the game aren't going to see a dime one way or the other, what's the difference? Right? I mean, yes, I think you should support um, your local game store. Not necessarily the big you know, uh, game store companies, but your local one, because in the same way you 100% you should be paying for indie games and so on, you definitely need to be supporting um, game developers. But if you're in a situation where you're trying to get access to a game that's really old and obscure, is it morally wrong to get it the most convenient way that you can if it doesn't make any difference to the original developer? They don't see a dime one way or the other. And I guess I've always personally kind of come down on the side of, well, you know, if it really is that hard to come by, I don't know if it necessarily makes a difference one way or the other how you get it. Because again, if you think about it from the developer's perspective, you know, you want to support them, but they're gone. They don't make any money off this game anymore. It's just done. And anyway, it's not that Bungie couldn't have kept selling Marathon. We keep coming back to this room. But I guess they figured that they had made the money they deserved off of Marathon, and now they wanted to give back to the gaming community. And I think that's pretty awesome of them. It shows real support for the idea of gaming as a culture and for wanting to essentially make sure that Marathon lives on. If they hadn't made... I mean, it's not like tons and tons of people are playing Marathon anymore, but I'm sure more people are playing it considering that it's free than if they you know, kept trying to sell it on like a Bungie eShop or something. So... Um, Blizzard is good with this too. Uh, I think they've given away Lost Vikings or something before, which is one of their classic Super Nintendo games, actually. Okay, I have no idea where to go. I'm just walking around babbling. I like to imagine my guy is actually saying all the stuff I'm saying to you guys aloud to himself. He's just gone. He's gone crazy with space madness. How the hell do I get out of here? Oh, there's a map. Okay. Um pits of water we don't want to go back to that oh directly behind me is a whole bunch of unexplored area bingo that's the way we want to go okay directly behind me boom 
And oh my god. And we're gonna we're gonna die in two seconds. Oh god. I'm like firing in a mad panic. Get away! Whatever you are. He went away. He listened to me. That was awfully nice of him. He's a stand-up fella. Spurious interrupt. Unauthorized access. Blah blah blah. Hey, do you like first-person shooting and reading? Because if so, I've got a game for you. It's called Marathon. Where did that guy go? Where did he come from? He's just gone. He was like, I'm not getting paid enough for this. Damn it, I fell in the stupid hole again. I think we have to go in that, that vent. There's only one other way I can see to go. Uh, this way? Yes. And oh crap! I'm like rolling. I'm like climbing through the air ducts, trying to find a way out. Help me! Help me! Uh, okay, guys, I have a sneaking suspicion we are not going to see too much beyond this first level of marathon. But uh, you know, let's just consider it an opportunity for us to have tried this game, to have caught up. And oh god, I can't even read the map properly. Which way am I going here? That's the way I want to go. Okay, so... Oh man, it's... This two dimen this this three-dimensional crap, where I like can't figure out which way to go. Okay, map... I don't want to go there. I want to go, like, this way? Oh my god. Okay, go straight and to the right. Got it. Got it. Okay, now, how the hell do you get to wherever the hell? So I want to go to the hallway immediately to my right. And I don't even know how to get there. I miss home and I don't even know how to get there. Okay. Now, this. Okay. Um, you know, one other thing I will, the last thing that I wanted to make sure I said about Marathon, like, I can't even get out of this freaking... What is this? Nothing. Doesn't do anything. What are all these switches? I'm pressing them all, hoping something will happen. Somebody will hear me and help me escape from this nightmare. Okay, we're just gonna go this way. Because I know it goes somewhere. And I fell off the freaking thing. Whoo! Well, okay. Marathon, the one last thing I wanted to say about it is it's in the book, 1001 Games Just Play Before You Die, Marathon Infinity here. I... I'm going to go on the record and say, I don't even know how you're supposed to pass the first freaking level. You might need a tutorial for this. This is crazy. Crazy. Um, but this is the third game in the series. They did not put Marathon 1 and 2 in the book. Guess they ran out of room. Guess the games weren't good enough. I actually wouldn't mind trying those games. I might try them of my own accord on my Saturday afternoon gaming series at some point. But yeah, Marathon. What do you guys think of this game? Did you play this growing up? Was this your favorite Mac game? What do you think of the fact that it is now on PC? No longer a Mac exclusive. You guys can't lord it over us PC guys anymore. Uh, oh god, we're in this this part. How the freak do you get out of this level? Uh, and then I have to go through the freaking tubes again? No. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm calling it. Ridiculous. Um, yeah. Oh, hold on. There's something over there. Oh, and none of these open. False alarm. Wait, what's over there? Anything? 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 My god. You know what, Bungie? Be more obscure, why don't you? I, I, I was having a little bit of fun killing things and going through this very nicely designed level. If you could have made it a little more confusing as to where to go, that would have really helped your gameplay out quite a bit. Whee! Uh, we have to go through this freaking... No, I'm not doing it. Um, I'm going to call it, surprisingly enough. I thought this would be a long playthrough. Turns out to be a short one. You know the sad part is? I, I found that vent that I didn't know how to get into. Maybe there's a button that would allow me to do it. I can't even go and check the freaking control scheme because I have to quit the game. I can't go and check my controls to find out if there's a button. A crawl button would be so useful. I'm testing buttons. Wait. No, that just looks up and down. I'm testing buttons to find a crawl button. Can't find one. 
and I can't even check or I'll quit the game. Uh, guys, I'm going to call it. I was hoping that Marathon would be um, a game that I could have a lot more fun with, but personally, here's the thing, I'm, I'm super stuck. And in the spirit of Let's Play 1001 Games, the goal is not to finish every game, the goal is to try every game for the first time and say, what would it be like if somebody were to actually go through this book, 1001 Games, just play before you die and try them? And I think most people would have the experience I just had, where it's like a where the F do I go? How the hell do you beat the first level? I have no idea what's going on. So unfortunately, though I really love Bungie, though I respect them, though I, I really love the fact that they made this game open source, um, I cannot give this game a good recommendation. I just can't. I, I don't know what to say. Maybe the multiplayer is a lot more fun. I mean, it, it's a well done game, but the, just the level design I do not agree with. And I do not think it is clear enough where to go or even how to control your guy. It's so annoying you have to quit the game if you want to check the controls. So, Marathon. Pros and cons. Pros. It is a bungee game. It is a pretty good shooter for the year it came out. It is sort of like Apple's version of Doom. Uh, it deserves that title. Uh, the other games, I'm really curious to try, and I probably will try them at some point. This game has not turned me off of them. The cons, however, are that it is a very confusing game, a very obscure game. If you thought Bungie's plots were obscure, yeah, try the first level of Marathon Infinity. You won't even pass it. It's, it's ridiculous. So, should you try this game before you die? Mm, no. I, I can't in good conscience recommend you try this. Maybe I'm doing it totally wrong. Maybe you guys in the comments you can let me know and say, No, no, Jay, you're going crazy. You, this is a great game. If you just passed the first level, it would have been so much more fun. And then maybe I'll have to actually load it back up and give it a try at some point. But for today, for my, my video today, I just got to say I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I'm disappointed more in myself. It's probably more of a failing of me than Bungie, but... <laughs> I'm so mad, I'm like fist punching the wall till it's dead. I'm gonna take my rage out on this industrial y yellow wall. Guys, if you've enjoyed watching me fail hardcore at uh, Marathon here, please give me a like, please give me a subscribe. Because as always, I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. Hopefully a game I can do better at and you can continue to watch me on this quest of playing through the book 1001 games you must play before you die. Until I see you guys again, take care of yourselves. And peace. Hey, 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 what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's going on there? What was that? I was getting, like, electrocuted. By something? I didn't even see a thing. What was electrocuting me? Was it this? Hmm.